Stacy, thank you so much for writing this book first off and for also getting Christopher Martin involved in dramatizing it um, and having the play at the hop. Um, tell us why it was important for you to write Ravenna. First of all, thank you so much for having us here. I love the hop. It's always been my favorite ice cream store. So what's kind of an interesting sort of um, full circle is that I was here with my son, Griffin, who's five years old, one night, and Chris was putting on one of his performances. And I thought it was just fantastic. And that's when I realized that, oh my gosh, maybe we could set Ravenna. Um, to a play. Teachers really are free and their autonomy, I hope, will always be respected. And even if it shows up in a form that, you know, again, isn't very attractive to us, um, that we can still respect it. And um, so that's so important to me. But then also, autonomy doesn't mean that, you know, we're all separate and we live on our own island at all. It's just that we can respect the autonomy and still be interdependent, still take care of each other as a community. And so I really love that. Um, that, I, that we were able to portray that with Ravenna and the sweet relationship that she had with Galen. I'm here with director Christopher Martin who dramatized Stacey Kernow's book Ravenna to, to a play and we had it performed here at the Hop tonight. Christopher, can you tell me a little bit about how you dramatized, how you went about dramatizing this book? Sure, I do monthly performances here at, um, here at the Hop and we do a different author and I thought it would be great to do an original book I, as I was approached by Stacey. Um, during the Judy Bloom uh, month, and she loved my energy, and she wanted um, to work with me, and she loved how I work with kids, so she hired me to um, dramatize her book and to write a dramatic interpretation of the book, which is very exciting. And then I got some fellow um, just students around the area um, who I've been working with before at Joe's Elementary School, um, Ashland Community Theater, and National Arts Center. And I cast them because I know their experience. We performed it um, actually at ACT. We performed it there as one of our rehearsals, and then we performed it here and performed it at Malaprops. We're going to perform it at Barnes and Nobles and Spellbound. So all around the area, it's a great opportunity for kids to be involved in an original work. Um, it's very exciting. They created their own costumes and props, and we worked on acting skills and just had a fun time creating an original story in Asheville. It's really fun. There once was a boy named Galen.